Yeah. My baby. Don't you got a girlfriend? Why don't y'all go make a baby? Why what you? that got to do with my baby? Because uh, I, I got a girlfriend. What that got to do with my baby? I don't want her around my kid. But if you got a boyfriend, it's, it's cool. So you Why can bring a boy. Why are you worried about me? What the f so you can bring a boy, a boy, but I can't bring no girl around. No. So I'm paying fifteen hundred in child support, and I can't see my baby. No. See. See, see what? See. Why the f is you recording me? See, see what? See what? Don't have kids. Y'all don't have kids. You weird. Don't have don't kids have with kids. the wrong 15, person. Fifteen hundred in child support. Are you weird? Fifteen hundred child support. I can't see my stuff. baby. No. Fifteen hundred. In the house. You can see the baby, but not not her. So where's she at? In the house. So go get her. No. You can go see her. I'm not gonna go get nobody. It's cold out here. Fifteen hundred child support. Mm hmm. Tell me, I got a girlfriend. I can't see my baby because I got a girlfriend. No, but you got a boyfriend. Yeah. But okay, you got a boyfriend. so what? Don't have kids, bro. No, you don't have kids. Y'all don't have kids. You don't have kids. Y'all don't. Y'all don't want nobody like her. Don't have kids, bro. I'm be honest. From the 15 second clip I just seen, her eyes don't even look like it sit right in her head. So that tells me. I'm gonna be a little immature with this. That tells me that the pussy was good. But that also tells me that there ain't nobody you need to be having a baby with. Let's be honest now, fellas. All the crazy girls got the good coochie. But you know you don't need to be shooting the club up. You know that. You know you got to be going up in there with a bulletproof vest on. Because you wouldn't have situations like this. Hey, look, what, you, what, what are you doing? So I was black catching myself. We're dressing up. What, I, who, who are you supposed to be? You play around. Nah, I don't get it now. Nah. You play around. <laughs> I know that's not supposed to. Nah, you play around. <laughs> It's a rattlesnake? Yes. Yep. Yes. Rattlesnake. Go. Let's go. Why are you so excited? A beautiful yellow rattlesnake. Let's go, baby. Oh, nice cotton. Pretty cotton. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a nice one. A pattern on that's badass. Ring necks. The two ring necks was not what I was thinking we'd find under there. My God, let's freaking go! Oh my God! Oh my God! Let's go! Oh, dude, look at that thing. Let me tell y'all something, bro. White folks and nature undefeated. Undefeated. The little, the little ring neck that he talking about. I saw one of those outside my house, and I almost shitted myself. This man is picking up rattlesnakes. What's that? 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 Alright, so upon reading the comment section, I did not know that if you ordered liquor off of Uber, that if they come to deliver the liquor to you and you appear drunk, they can refuse to drop the liquor off. Now, I don't know what idiot made that rule, but that's stupid. I'm already in my house. And then on top of that, y'all are forgetting that your Uber drivers are regular people so imagine me buying something and a regular ass motherfucker who's supposed to deliver my sh is telling me no i can't give it to you you're gonna have situations like this 
Or worse, somebody might get their ass beat. Pumping the gas. Oh, nah. Hey, nah. Hell nah. You do that to me, you getting out the car and picking that shit up. I don't. That's, that's actually kind of sad. I ain't going to lie to you. Oh, she crying. She crying. Bro, you do that to me? Now, y'all already know how I feel about customer service, man. One of my biggest pet peeves is people who take advantage of customer service employees. I'm about to sound like a simp ass. I have a problem going to the strip club when people throw the money on the ground. I don't know why. I just have a problem with that. Now, when I go to the strip club, I'm going to be real with you. I don't really be paying for dances like that. I go in, I buy my food because I think the strip club have the best food. And I might... I might get a dance, but it's very rare that I get a dance. Now, motherfuckers might be like, oh, you you cheap. You broke. You Nah. Like, I just don't feel like paying somebody to tease me. But at the same time, I feel as though, like, I'm demeaning you. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't understand how women do that for money. I don't understand how you dance for money. I don't understand the logic or mentality behind being a stripper. Now, I know they make a lot of money, but I just can't grasp that i can't grasp that like I, that's that's one of the reasons why i can't trust strippers like i would never date a stripper i would never be able to take a stripper serious because i wouldn't be able to trust you if you're able to subject yourself to that type of humiliation for money i wouldn't be able to trust you i'm probably gonna get a lot of slack for this um but based on my observation right i honestly feel like black women caring their own men we literally caring our own men at times. We act like Karens. What do I mean by that? Y'all seen those videos where you have white women who play victim um, because they're being recorded. You know, we, we know this, but they'll play victim um, when they're around a black man or if they feel um, like they're not in control or intimidated, they'll play victim. Uh, black women, we do the same things. We'll get the law or courts involved um, when we feel like we're not in control or we're not getting what we want um, between the publicly shaming and insulting of our men um, to act like we're victims in every situation when dealing with men. We care in our own men. I've just seen too many instances and too many situations um, where we are doing things out of spite. And to say that we're not is a straight up lie. Um, I just think it's amazing that women in general just think whatever a woman says, it's the truth. When I, we all have seen time and time again, women are liars just as much as men are liars. I'm not going to believe a woman because she's just a, because she's a woman. I need to know the story. I need details. I need to know the type of woman you are. You just don't up and believe women just to up and believe women because once again, Women will lie just as much as men will lie. So, black women, I honestly feel like at times we Karen or act like Karens when it comes to our own men. I 110% agree with her. Oh my God. I 110% agree with her. I've always felt like this, but after reacting to these videos for the past year, I realized that it's a lot worse than we think it is. Oh, it's a lot worse than I thought it was. I know friends who are currently paying child support, not because the mother need the money to take care of the child, but literally because the mother is trying to be vindictive. He's not the only one. I got another friend where his, his ex-girl... Now, I don't agree with the fact that he put hands on her. She put... She been pushing buttons for years. She been... I have been a witness to her pushing buttons for years. And this man would just get up, leave. 
get up, leave. And this one day, I, I guess he couldn't get up and leave fast enough, man. And I don't agree with him putting hands on her at all. And the crazy thing is, from what I heard, she was so happy when he put hands on her. Police came about 10 minutes later. He has an assault and battery charge and a restraining order. And both of those helped with her getting custody of their child. It's a, it's a foul world we living in, dog. Get the f*** out of here. Leave right now. Get, get out of here. Get out you of here. Okay, get, okay. this is my property. Like you get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. My property. Yeah, get the f*** out of here. My property. Oh, okay, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Get out of my property. Get out of my property. Why? Why do you get Yo, I, I'm not going to lie. I ain't got no problem against Asian women. I think some Asian women are gorgeous. But some, some Asian women, I don't, it's their tone of voice. When they get, like, upset and they trying to argue and curse you out, that shit be so annoying. If you never got cursed out by the Chinese food store lady, you wouldn't really understand. You feel me? I've gotten cursed out by the Chinese food store lady a few times. And, bro, I'll be ready to fight, bro. Like, where your husband at, bitch? You done annoyed me to the point where I want to throw hands. Get my hands. You guys are not. Case in point. Case in point. This was perfect. This was perfect. You guys all came here and you threatened me at my own house. You threatened me at my own house. You guys need to leave. Did you want it? No, you guys came and tied me. You guys leave. You guys came and tied me. You guys leave. 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 You guys the Chinese food store lady ain't never, she ain't never do that to me right there. She ain't never went in like that. But she, she'll just, fuck are you, bitch? No. You, 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 no. I give you change. Fuck are you? Damn. What's that? Was, was that around the lines of being canceled? I, I just, I, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful now.